welcome back. This is my new studio vlog. I'm feeling better, I'm feeling healthier. I'm in a lot less pain and misery on the daily now after surgery. So if you watched my last vlog, which was the surgery vlog, thank you for sitting through that. It was very emotional and very vulnerable for me, but I felt like it was super important to bring you guys along on this journey. So now we're back at the art. Now we're gonna be sitting in this desk today and getting some work done. So if you're up for a super productive art vlog, stick around. <laughs> had an interesting last 24 hours so I tried to print the commission for the beautiful Natalie um, this morning uh, well yesterday morning and it didn't work <laughs> my print has been acting up now I only have a really box standard 50 quid Tesco printer I've had it for the last five years it's done an amazing job for what it needed to do because I started doing art prints on it and yeah they could always be better quality but they were the best I can do and to be honest I've been really impressed with the printer quality as long as you've got like the right paper like it changes the game completely changes the game so my art print has been fine it's been working on this printer it was having none of it yesterday so then I gave up <laughs> and I went to work and work was fine it was it's hard not only because I'm post art but because you know I, I'm not exactly comfortable in the public right now I know everyone's like, everyone's scared of the pandemic, but like, it could really affect me, so. And now everyone's like, having the options to, or to not wear masks in England, it's just a bit like, anxious. So, uh, yeah, it's just a bit rubbish at work. So, it didn't matter because I thought, what I'll do is I'll get Dan, my partner, to take me to our local, like, software shop which is Curry's in England and we'll do some window shopping fab let's do that went to look at that that's fine so when we were there they were like restocking the shelves and the lady the printer I wanted which was more than I ever wanted to pay for a printer but um I just thought it's about time I invested in myself but there was no more stock for it that was the last one it was on clearance she offered to sell me the display model, which is perfectly fine because I've worked in retail. The displays are literally brand new. All they do is sit there and collect dust on the shelves. Barely anyone even touches them most days. So, and it came with a box and all of the ink and all of the wires and all of the software. So I was like, that's fine, I'll have that one. And then she gave me a nice cheeky discount for having the display model, fab. So I came home last night, all super excited, filling the ink up, putting like, playing with all of the software and being like okay let's set it up as soon as i got to like the printing stage of the setup the alarm light came on saying there was something wrong with it and i was like okay so i spent another hour <laughs> deciphering the lights on the alarm to work out what was wrong with it by the sounds of it it's something to do with the ink reservoir duct or like waste ink ducks or whatever it's not having any of it it won't let me print it won't let me go through the rest of the setup it won't let me do anything it basically says it's not happy <laughs> i'm not gonna say i pretty much sulked for the rest of the night this morning i've got up i'm gonna ring curry's the retail store i got it from and say hey i bought your display model and it's broke or faulty what do you want to do about it they might offer to ship it off and fix it themselves and they'll pay for like the re like repair charge or they might just give me a refund and if so that's not the end of the world they can take the printer back 
can go drop it off i have my refund and i'll just either order the same printer again or a different printer i don't know so just a bit wah, wah, wah about it all right so quick update i have been back to curry's i have dropped off that printer they have no more printers they have given me my money back and da -da, we're trying a different type <sighs> i know it's a palaver but this is just reality of trying to get the right upgrades for your small business at the right time long story short this was the printer i went in for originally and got distracted and liked the other one better and going back and they didn't have any more of that Canon version, I was like, maybe I should have just gone for this one all along. Um, maybe it's fate telling me, don't be stupid, this is what's meant to happen, this is what's meant to work for you. So, if this plugs in, the ink goes in, and I have no more errors, then it was meant to be. <laughs> End of story. Let's Design I did for my private commission from Natalie. It is Poison Ivy as a like goddess type. She looks beautiful. This is the old printer. It's really washed out, really exposed. I'm not sure what's going on with it. And there's been like some issues with the, like the dress, like like you see the dress saturation. It just seems like really, it's my print. It's struggling. So what I've done is I printed the exact same image out on the new printer and look how much more saturated the image is it's absolutely insane the difference the only problem is i preferred this lighter background to this like super dark one like what's that all about so what i decided to do was lighten this image like edit it and lighten it just to see if it's just too sensitive to like the color combinations because it uses different ink to what a normal printer cartridge is used kind of thing so to which I got this which is a lot more of a compromise between the two it's got the right background it's got much more like pigment on her dress and her hair is lighter it's nowhere near as dark it's got a bit more of like this vibe this image I think looks absolutely stunning flawless I'm very happy with it so I hope you guys agree and I think I've wasted <sighs> enough paper now so <laughs> we've smashed it <laughs> well, i know you're probably all thinking oh my god look at all that paper what a waste of money in ink but i've barely scratched the surface of these ink like tough cartridges which the new ink use so that's amazing it shows you that it was definitely worth my money and that basically it's going to be cheaper to print Woo! but i've literally fought tooth and nail to find the right settings the right paper the right edited image to get where I am today so it's not been a great day but it's been a productive day and we'll take that okay Natalie I hope you think this is worth it <laughs> it's not that I have low motivation I'm just really struggling with art block at the moment and like believing in myself which is a part of the process it's 100% natural to have self-doubt and issues with your quality of work because it's natural to want to improve your quality of work and confidence doesn't come overnight and you've got to keep at it and keep like tricking yourself into believing that you are the best so I'm just feeling it and I really need to find some inspiration I need to find something to draw that I really enjoy drawing and that is both challenging and inspiring so I wonder what I come up with I don't know. Hi guys, I just wanted to show you what I've currently been working on. It's been a bit all over the shop, but basically my theory is for September's Patreon, I want to do what I'm going to do. Labyrinth themed, if it loads. You know, the 1980s David Bowie gorgeousness that is their work um it's so not art my zone I don't draw boys very often she's gorgeous i'm obsessed with this like curly hair like ball gown kind of vibes and uh, i don't really draw men but then david bowie's quite a feminine man in the movie so this is what i've come down with it's very cute he's got this little suit on and his ruffles and his crazy hair um yeah so i'd love to know what you guys think i'm trying to give it that kind of like 
But at that moment in the movie where they're like, she's like in his trance and they're in this like masked ball and he's kind of like trying to convince her that this is where she's meant to be and she's like, I don't know if I'm not meant to be here. So um, yeah, it's just trying to have that like fairy... Uh, magic kind of vibe with it so I'm thinking this is going to be my like art print for the month and then I'm going to do which I don't know if you saw the cute little freaky caterpillar as a sticker I think that would be super cute <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this design um but then the caterpillar in the movie is mad so if you don't know I'll put him over here and I'll put the caterpillar on this side of the screen oh my god but um yeah, like, you've got to love him. If you know the movie, you love him. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my idea. So I'm going to do the art print and then the sticker. And I'm not sure what else I'm going to do just yet. My friend recommended I do, like, Ludo and um, Hoggle and... Oh, I can't remember what the little fox is called. But basically, like, them three and doing, like, what if you need us were there, which I think is so cute of an idea. Um... But I could do that as like, I don't know, maybe a bookmark or something. So, um, yeah, that's where my head's at at the moment. This is like as much as I've progressed right now. And I hope you like it. So, if you dig it, <laughs> I'll see you come the September Patreon launch. <laughs> Which hopefully should be the same time this video comes out. Fingers crossed. Hi, so I don't know if you can tell, but I've been just like messing around with this creature's face because I was happy with it but it looked a bit too goofy and I'm sure it was a bit more like demonic looking in the movie so I got my reference material up and I had a little play so I've made his top two for a little less doofy <laughs> and I got rid of the ears because um, his ears are kind of covered by his fluff in the movie and he didn't have white eyes he had red eyes so that's a bit scary I don't remember that feature about him but red eyes it is. Uh, overall, I'm a bit more happy with how it looks. Um, I feel like it looks more truer to the character reference in my kind of style. Uh, I've added a little extra details of being like some eyelids and some lips, trying to make it at least look a bit more human-esque cutesy. But um, it's so funny, like, looking back on stuff, you're like, that caterpillar was cute. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, that caterpillar is creepy. <laughs> but that is the reference material and labyrinth is creepy. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see how else it turns out.
mm. video thing. Just letting you know that um, I've spent this whole video going on about how uh, my Labyrinth theme was going to be my September Patreon goodies. Now, that's what I wanted them to be. And I keep picking up Patreon and being like, I really, I really would love for it to work. I would love to be able to build a community on there and show support. But I've never had anyone sign up. And I keep trying making content and it's just not working. So I have to be realistic. I have to admit that Patreon is not the time for me. Now I know it was a lofty goal anyway because I don't have like loads of followers. Um, but... I, it's like, I would love to have it, and I just thought if I kept doing it, then maybe someone would be interested, but I don't think I'm there yet, and there's nothing wrong with admitting you're not there yet, I just think I need to reprioritise my efforts, so if you liked all of the Labyrinth goodies that I've been making, it, like this entire vlog, they will be live on my SD as soon as possible, I've still got some finishing touches to do, stuff isn't finished. I might just release what I've got so far and then drop the others as they come. It is what it is. I am a small business, I am a teeny tiny artist on this platform and not everything is meant to be. If you have any ideas or suggestions of what I could do on my Patreon, please comment below and let me know. If you like Labyrinth stuff, like I said, it's going to be over my FD. If you follow me on Instagram you are most likely to see them drop when they do drop because I post uh, probably the most regularly on my Instagram, uh, it's most current to what I am going through right now, for example my story today was me being sick, I've been really poorly, I don't know if you can tell, my nose is a bit red, I still sound a bit congested. But yeah I'm going to reprioritise myself and set some more realistic goals and just get drawing because I just don't draw enough right now. I've got so much going on in my life. I'm healing, I'm back at work. Uh, I have been a bit in a like negative mind space towards my art and I think it's because I've been putting too much pressure on myself. So I'm going to take a step back and just create some nice art, film some nice videos and if you guys are interested in supporting me in any other way just let me know basically. So Thank you for watching and I will see you next week or the week after or whenever I get around to doing the next one. Thanks.